and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And before I go off on a tangent about Peppa Pig, I've been reliably informed that's been done before. Well, this week coincides with the big retail event of the year, and that is Black Friday. That's when we're offered deals and discounts on the items that we deem necessary or unnecessary. Well, the savvy amongst us may not be surprised by findings which revealed that 90% of Black Friday deals were the same or cheaper in the six months before the sales event. Will it be the same again this year? Well, we may not be getting any discounts or deals or Black Friday anythings from Appliance Online because the company reliably informs us that it is struggling due to a supply shortage mainly down to those lockdown spenders buying up the stock. Now, AO warned that the key festive trading period would be significantly softer than anticipated. Well, shares reacted to that news with a 25% drop. So let's have a look at the historical chart data. Here's the three-month chart, the six-month, the year chart, and here's the two year chart to help soften that blow. Will the company become a takeover target for Amazon? Because it certainly has the green credentials, which are very trendy and necessary at the moment. It has an impressive 2 million fridges now recycled at its recycling facility. Which brings me to the popular retail investor stock Capital Metals. It's developing the Eastern Minerals Project in Sri Lanka. Its environmental impact assessment has been approved, which means it hopes to start commercial production for stage one heavy minerals concentrate by the first half of next year. So what are mineral sands? Well, they are old beach, river or dune sands that contain concentration of minerals such as rutile, ilmenite, zircon and monazite. These are all good for pigment for paint, paper and plastics, as well as toothpaste, sun creams and ceramics. Still, there's nothing wrong with good old fashioned charcoal toothpaste. It certainly works for me. Now, 2021 has been associated with lots of cannabinoid related companies coming to the market as regulators and the market begin to understand the medicinal side of the plant. Well, meanwhile, Uber is making its first foray into the marijuana market. Uber Eats users in Ontario, Canada will soon be able to order cannabis products on the app. Now, Canada's marijuana market is worth currently worth three billion pounds a year. Now, as weed is legalized globally, there may soon be little stigma to ordering a little bit of cannabis with your portion of curry. You heard it here first. Okay, stay well, stay sane. Don't spend too much on the Black Friday deals. I'll be back same time next week.